Three smart ways to stand out as a small business in 2019. We've got some good news and bad news. First off, the good news. Current small business trends point to a steady rise of people who are leaping towards entrepreneurship and small business ownership. As for the bad news, such trends can also mean that competition is growing every single year. If you're a small business owner who's thinking about your next big move to outsmart competitors in 2019, finding ways to differentiate your startup or small business should be a priority right now. If you're not the first in your industry or niche, how do you differentiate your small business from others who are doing the same product or service as you? Here are three smart ways to differentiate your small business. Number one, get to know your customers intimately by identifying their core needs in context to your product or service. Gone are the days when you can just set up shop, wait for crowds of customers and call it a day. Talk to prospects or existing customers and ask them about what they think and feel about your business. Next, carry out a brainstorming session with all your staff to learn what they think about your brand. Let's say you're an owner of a new produce delivery business in town. At first glance, it seems like your target customers are people who merely want fruits and vegetables delivered at their doorstep. With this assumption, you keep on talking about the different varieties of vegetables and fruits in your social media feed. What if there is more to the story that you're missing? Why do your customers prefer to have their produce delivered instead of buying in bulk themselves? When you sat down with your target customers, you discovered that people prefer to get their produce every other day so they can cook with fresh vegetables instead of using old produce. Meanwhile, you found out that some people are super conscious of what each produce does for their existing health issues and overall health. Finally, it turns out that half of your clients have diabetes. Based on your survey findings, there's no point waxing poetic about produce varieties on Facebook. Your customers would rather learn more about the benefits of each produce. With half of your customers having diabetes, it also makes sense to provide more information on diabetes nutrition research on your social media feed. When creating content to educate customers, consider stepping up your visual storytelling game. Take beautiful photographs, draw a simple cartoon, or create infographics, GIFs, and videos. Today, it's inexpensive and less time-consuming to produce beautiful pieces of visual art for your small business marketing. Plus, simple infographic design tools have a low learning curve. Anyone can start using them as long as you're curious and eager to learn. Number two, focus on a small, tight-knit niche or network. Many small businesses want to be the best in their niche, from the best coffee shop in town to the best hair salon in the city. There's nothing wrong with dreaming big, but you've got to be realistic. The key to small business differentiation and future growth is finding and focusing on tight-knit niche or network. Why would it make sense to narrow down your focus as much as possible? For a small business or startups, it can be a challenge to stand out with limited resources. With a more modest, tight-knit niche to attract and engage with, you can maximize the use of these limited resources. It also makes it easier to describe what you do and be more specific about your offerings. Plus, a smaller niche increases the chance of exposure to prospects that are almost ready to buy instead of leads who are still in the consideration stage. In our produce delivery example, consider vegan restaurants within your area of coverage as part of your small, tight-knit network of clientele instead of merely restaurants. You can offer to deliver extra produce or hard-to-find vegetables that will impress not only restaurant owners, but also their vegan patrons. Win-win, right? Number three, consider brand activism. In the past, marketing and advertising were easier. All you need to do is tell people about why your product or service is better than the others. Better deodorant, better banking service, better sweaters. Being better at X just doesn't cut it these days. The truth is, people are hungry for change to our most significant social and environmental issues. People expect businesses to take a stand. This is what brand activism is about. When you look closely at today's trends, more and more companies have a broader mission than pure profit-seeking. In a crowded marketplace, taking a stand for an advocacy or specific values sets you apart from the rest. 
It's also an excellent way to gain customers who can also become your biggest fans and advocates. Caveat, brand activism may also jeopardize your small business. However, as social mission and activism manager for Ben & Jerry's, Chris Miller says, ultimately, it is better to be deeply loved by some people than be inoffensive to everyone. The takeaway here is to take the time to reflect on your position until you can be objective and honest about your cause or advocacy. Going back to our produce delivery example, a good example is advocating for ugly produce and encouraging people to buy them. Ready to think differently and stand out from your competition? If you haven't started any of the strategies mentioned above or have only done them half-heartedly, it's time to evaluate your small business marketing plan. As with most strategies, you're only going to experience the rewards if you commit to your plan for the long haul, yet you're also flexible enough to pivot when a strategy isn't working anymore. Your competitors are likely to catch up with your ideas and best practice at some point, so it pays to always be on your toes for fresh ideas.